This is probably like the gazillionth video of how to cook a steak, but there's only one way to cook it properly, and this is it. simple secret to great steak is all in the technique and knowing when to stop cooking it. Without going into too much technicality, we need to cook our steak to a certain internal temperature, then rest it until the internal temperature settles, before adding the finishing touches and eventually stuffing your face with it. Before we start talking equipment, let's make sure you know about the meat. My favorite, and I think probably the world's favorite, has to be rib eye. But you know, sirloin, tenderloin, blade, chuck, whatever floats your boat. Grain fed will be the most marbled, it's what I prefer. Also, look for steak that has been aged for at least 28 days. Last but not least, you want to use a fat boy piece of steak, like two fingers thick minimum. It should weigh about 500 grams. Thin steaks are sad steaks. And let's be honest, it's much better to be fat and happy than be thin and sad. Let's chat gear. You will ideally have a temperature probe or kitchen thermometer, whatever you call it. Gone are the days of fingering your palm to check the doneness of steak. That's so like 90s. Apart from that, you need a heavy bottomed frying pan. A cast iron skillet works perfect. I leave links down below to all these. To start, you want to make sure your steak is close to room temp. Cold steaks make me shiver and they don't cook evenly enough for my liking. You also want to pat the steak dry with a paper towel. Wet steaks don't fry. Heat your pan until hot as hell. Add some high smoke point oil like canola or sunflower. Olive oil won't cut it. Now season your steak with salt only and only on the side heating the pan first. None of this season all over with salt and pepper nonsense. Doing this results in burnt pepper and the non-searing side of the steak getting wet again. It's stupid. Still, people do this and I just can't wrap my head around it. Place the steak salted side down into the hot pan. After a few seconds, start to move the steak around like so. This is to avoid grey unseared bald spots. The only thing grey and bald in this video should be me. After about a minute, season the naked side and flip it, repeating the previous instructions. Sensually. As you can, stick a kitchen thermometer into the center of the steak. Keep monitoring the internal temperature. Flippy floppy the steak a few more times to make sure it cooks evenly and we don't end up with a grey, thick, well done ring of death around the outside. Now, at this point, right about now, the foaming butter gang will usually add all the butter to the pan they could find in their mommy's fridge. The only thing foaming today is the mouth of Mr. Bad Method. As soon as the internal temperature of the steak is 48 degrees Celsius or 118 degrees Fahrenheit, you remove the steak from the pan and the pan from the heat. Let the steak rest on a wire rack. Keep the probe in that fat boy. The temperature should settle at around 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. While the steak is resting, add a knob of butter, 30 grams to be exact. Add a few roughly crushed unpeeled garlic cloves, rosemary and thyme to the pan. Phew, that was a mouthful. This is an entirely optional step and in all honesty, you can just have your steak right now and it will be great. Especially if you got an expensive, high quality, well marbled piece of beef that needs nothing more than salt and pepper. But anyway, let's put all the wrongs right and do the whole butter finished steak properly without wasting your granny's butter for her toast. Return the pan to the heat and gently on medium heat infuse the butter with the garlic, rosemary and thyme. Before the butter starts to brown, remove the garlic, rosemary and thyme and place it to the side. Return the steak to the pan and flippy floppy a few more times until the butter starts to brown. Remove the steak from the pan and the pan from the heat. Deja vu. Place your sexy fat boy onto a wooden board ready for slicing. Slice it as thick or as thin as you like and pour the butter all over it. Season with more salt and now finally some freshly cracked black pepper. If you want it to look all rustic and shit, add the garlic, thyme and rosemary. Purely for aesthetics. And there you have it. The correct way of cooking steak in a skillet.
All right, so if you cook a steak the way I showed you today, I'm sure you're gonna get love until you burst. So make sure you burst because of the right reasons.